Richard started his new job and she just took a deep breath and went, when does school end? Oh my gosh, so cute. Getting very excited for autumn clothes. It's gonna be quarter to three, like soon, and I feel panicked. Sweet. I'm gonna go try on these jeans. I've just finished my morning broadcast for um, anyone that hasn't seen, there's been an update on Instagram. They're forever adding new features, although I reckon Threads is gonna go soon. I don't think anyone's been as into Threads as they had hoped. I think it was more just a bit of a power trip to try and compete with um, Twitter or X or whatever it's called now. But they have got a new broadcast feature which I think is more relevant and I think it will actually be quite a success because it fills a hole, it fills a gap in social media. I'm just applying the new Glossier foundation by the way which I've really been enjoying. It's really really lovely. So a broadcast channel, if you go to someone's profile on Instagram you'll see whether they have a broadcast channel, it will be there on their profile. I've got one, it's called Foggy Mornings which is a name of a brand that I never did anything with and everyone's experimenting and doing different things. A broadcast channel shows up in your DMs where your DMs are. Any broadcast channel that you join will show there and you'll get a little like DM notification if they post in it. And it's almost like a kind of WhatsApp group but at the moment it's not a two-way chat. Creators are able to post text, voice notes, photos, videos, links. Followers can only reply with an emoji, which is a little bit strange. It's very funny seeing how creative people get with the emojis that they reply with. Um, I quite like that bit, but it's very strange. It's not a two-way chat. Um, people tend to kind of DM if they want to talk about something that you've mentioned in your broadcast, but it's it's very much like a one-way chat, which is a bit strange. I've heard that that might be something they change in the future. The reason why I guess it's different to main grid or stories, it feels a little bit more intimate, especially if you're doing a voice note, and it feels like you're talking to kind of a smaller group of people. I think it's good if you want to talk about something that doesn't require a visual, because you know how often people will post on stories, but they'll just have like a plain background and text, it kind of instead of that really because um, I feel like stories and main grid require like a visual whereas this very much isn't like a visual thing it's more of like a chilled out chatty place I've been enjoying experimenting with it so I've been doing kind of morning broadcasts cozy little casual chats something to kind of catch up on and listen to whilst you wait for your like caffeine to kick in in the morning. I'm not sure that mine will stay exactly as it is. Like honestly, I'm not sure if it's actually sustainable for me to do it every morning. Mornings are quite chaotic at our house, especially with all the different like school and nursery drop-offs and stuff. And also just like finding things to chat about every day might be a little bit unrealistic. But I like the idea of it being super casual and sometimes it just even just being like a little check-in. It's just like listening to a friend leave you a voice note on whatsapp although i also like i've seen some other people who have done their broadcasts um and it being quite a specific place where they only talk about one thing that they don't so it's not like it doesn't replicate content that they post on their grid or stories someone's got like i've seen someone who has a, a wellness broadcast where they just talk about wellness related things so i would like mine to maybe become some more specific where i just talk about one thing but let me know if you've been listening and what you guys think. Um, I find it really interesting when a new feature is launched and I'm always up for trying something new. Although I do feel a little bit uh, of content fatigue. Um, and I'm going to talk about that a little bit later in the video because I have some kind of thoughts on the industry that, <laughs> that most people probably wouldn't talk about in a YouTube video. But I think I trust you guys to like understand my intentions and be able to have like quite an honest chat about social media and how people generate income if you um, are a content creator. At the moment it's just the morning and I'm just kind of getting myself set up for today. We had Rich's sister's wedding on the weekend um, and it was really, really lovely. The kids looked super cute. Grey wore like a little white dress she was a flower girl and rudy wore like a cute little linen h&m like suit kind of thing um they did walk down the aisle <laughs> i would say it was a success rudy walked down the aisle pushing a pink toy buggy which was kind of hilarious and gray reluctantly walked down the aisle whilst rich like scattered her 
rose petals for her. Um, so yeah, they, they made it down and they were, they were really good during the ceremony and stuff. So I would say it was a success. Definitely could not fully relax until the kids were picked up by my parents at half six. Um, and then I was like, I'm here, I've arrived at the wedding. <laughs> I can enjoy myself now because it was a bit chaotic running around after Rudy for the entire wedding. But it was also special to have them there. Do love a wedding. And it was also our seven year wedding anniversary. Can you believe that? For anyone who's been following me this whole time, it was seven years ago that we got married. That is just so crazy. And actually, I don't know why it's taken me so long, but I downloaded all of our wedding photos onto my phone. I don't, I don't know why I've never done that before, but now I know that they're safe on my iCloud. And it was really nice like going through all of them again. I found so many nice photos. I actually posted some like unseen snaps on my broadcast channel if you want to go check that out. So that was really nice. But we didn't manage to like go out for dinner or do anything special on this anniversary yet. Um, there's just so much going on at the moment in our lives. It's kind of chaotic. Richard started his new job. I'm super proud of him. I got him like a new school bag for an anniversary present. Yeah, it's his first week this week and I'm just really proud of him. So, so chuffed for him. So I've been like on hand to do all of the kid stuff, like everything kid related, just so he can really fully immerse himself in this new job and not have to worry about doing any of the kid stuff. So I've had quite limited time. It's just, it's so, it's so different doing this job with like two kids. Sometimes I watch other creators who don't have kids and it reminds me of how it used to be when I really did have like so many hours and days to play around with. I could be so much more spontaneous with my content because I wasn't stuck to only certain hours of the day when like the kids aren't around. I don't work weekends since I'm having, have, having kids because I want to be really present with them. And obviously they're not in my content. So it's, it's, I'm finding it a bit tricky that I've, I've kind of got like a short window of time during the day. And when you're trying to be creative, I find that I'm so much better when I'm spontaneous. When I'm out and about and I, and I think of a content idea and I just make it. Whereas I'm finding it like I can't really do that because I sit down and I'm like, right, I've got till this time to get this done. And it all feels a little, a little bit more like forced. So I'm just adjusting to that, like shorter working days and having to do it at a certain time and not being able to work like evenings or weekends and just being more flexible with it. It's so different to how it used to be like back in the day. But everyone, in no matter what job you do, has a different struggle, I think, after kids and has to just adjust and get used to a new routine. Just been listening to some voice notes from two of my very close friends. Like, honestly, having having friends when you've got young kids who also have kids is really handy. Sorry, I'm aware I'm talking about kids quite a lot this morning. You guys know, sometimes I talk about kids, sometimes I don't. I'm hoping that my content is like a, a good enough mix that it doesn't alienate anyone. But I think even if you don't have kids, it's quite nice sometimes to hear about the struggles because then you can relate to sisters or friends who do. Um, and we've just been chatting about school drop-off and um, Grey has now had all her settling in time and she's full time in school and she's finding morning drop-offs drop quite tricky and it's really, really hard. Like we were just chatting because my friends were reassuring me they've got older kids. They were saying they think it's more important how they come out of school, if they're happy when they come out, that that's more of a reflection of how they feel about school and how they're finding it than when they go in. I think some kids just find that transition period, that kind of handover quite tricky. Like she's so happy going in all the way, happy waiting outside until right at the last second when it's time to actually go and that's when she gets really upset and it's so hard, like I won't go into detail of like the handover and how it works. But it's very, very hard as a parent. And I remember she was a bit like that when she started nursery. And I think some kids just find that quite tricky. But my friend is right. I think how they come out of school is more of a reflection of how they are finding it. And it might just be up until half term that she finds it hard. It might be for longer, like who knows. Um, it's just one of those things, isn't it? I know she's like fine once she gets there because I always phone and check. New things, like whether it's after a weekend, whether it's after a school holiday, whether it's like a new year, new classroom. I think some kids just find change a little bit unsettling. Like she's such a little overthinker like I am. Mm, just like breaks my heart. There's so little. I know in other countries, 
they're older when they start school. She's only four. I mean, she's so grown up. She's definitely ready, but I just think that it's hard for them to get their heads around the fact that it's like forever. Like when they're settling into school, it's all fun and exciting. And then I said to her the other day, I was like, Gray, I'm so proud of you. I actually said, you should be so proud of yourself. You've done a whole week of school now. And she just took a deep breath and went, when does school end? <laughs> I was like, oh God, 14 years away. It ends in 14 years. Like you have got so, this is just the beginning, mate. Like, oh, I just, I know that feeling. I was like that with school. I just felt a bit like, God, oh, do I really have to go in every day? <laughs> but then I tried to talk to her about like, we're working and school is a bit like work for you. And I don't know if anyone has any tips or tricks or hacks for kids who don't love like going into school and they find that handover bit when they literally go in, if they finding that hard, any tips and tricks, more than welcome. Let's share them in the comments because all these new little reception starters need all the support they can get. I'm gonna wear Diptyque Philosicus today, which is like a gorgeous figgy perfume. I actually just did a little roundup on TikTok of my perfume collection and my perfume favorites. If you're not following me on TikTok, I'm Lily Pebbles, Lily Pebbles on Instagram, Lily Pebbles on everything. Go follow all the things. Actually, should I do a little breakdown? I feel like this could be handy. I'm gonna do a little breakdown of who I am and what to expect on each platform. Let me go to the toilet and then let's get ready for that. I keep getting the urge to go out, like I really wanna pop to King's Cross, but I always do that when I know I've got shit to sort at home and I'm just like running away from it. So I'm trying to fight the urge to go out because I will regret it later when I come back and it's chaos here. I've got loads of vintage items that I need to package up, label and send out to people. I've just lowered a couple of prices on things to see if I can shift everything and then I can send it all in one go. I've taken loads of the kids like winter stuff out the loft. So I need to sort through that. I need to check if these both still fit grey. Don't think we're quite there yet with the like winter proper winter stuff. Oh my gosh, so cute. I forgot about this. Ooh, I wonder if that'll fit Rudy. That was from when Grey was little. I feel like it looks like it's gonna be a little bit small for him. He's such a tank. Can I say that he's a tank? I'm not sure. He's big, he's chunky, I love it. Right, I was gonna to talk to you about who I am on every different platform. Let's quickly break this down. Okay, hi, this is me on TikTok. On TikTok, I am much more just casual, chatty, trying clothes on. TikToks can be longer than reels, so they tend to just be a little bit more kind of conversational and chatty and a bit more experimental. I'm more likely to use like a trending audio on TikTok and like try something a little bit new. Probably a little bit more fashion based on TikTok. That is me on TikTok. Me on Instagram, a mix of grid outfit photos, um, reels that are like a bit more like high editing quality. Like me and Georgia will work together on reels and like try different formats, more like cooking stuff, more stuff that's like set to music rather than talking. And on stories will be like a lot of links to items that I'm wearing and a little bit more like chatty, casual, spontaneous like updates. Broadcast, we've talked about that. Very, very chilled, low key voice note updates. YouTube, talking more in detail about stuff. I feel like YouTube is where you get like the chat, uh, a little bit more like behind the scenes, more like homey me in my home. I mean, you guys know, you're on here. You're watching me on YouTube. Is that it? Is that all the platforms? I think so. You can also follow me on LTK, which is where most of my outfits will be linked. And I usually post stories like Monday to Thursday. I'll post like three reels or main grids on Instagram a week. TikToks, I don't know, sometimes they're daily, sometimes it's like a couple a week. And the broadcasts at the moment are like every morning, Monday to Friday. YouTube is usually every Sunday. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. I actually posted on Instagram yesterday with this vest. I don't know if you guys saw it. It's from Damson Madder. And um, yeah, it was quite uh, controversial. Lots of people did not like it. I am still undecided. I mean, I think I do really like it, but then, you know when like hundreds of people tell you they don't like something, it's quite hard to stay strong to your own opinion. I did see someone on the school run wearing this today. She looked so cool. She was wearing it like a over a skirt, white t-shirt and the black skirt. 
She looked really cool and I was like, that's a sign, surely. I've seen someone wearing it. I don't know. I understand though why people didn't like it. So that is just staying here for a minute while I try and decide. But I filmed a little um, TikTok yesterday showing some of my like autumn wardrobe bits. Let me show you. At the moment, it's a lot of black, white and blue. <laughs> like there's definitely a theme here. But some really nice bits. Trench coat bomber, love the denim jumpsuit, lots of vests, denim shirt, dungarees, some like knitwear. Getting very excited for autumn clothes. This is all my vintage stuff ready to go. So I tend to kind of, so I'll check them, check the condition, make sure there's no, no new damages. And if there is, I write them down, I'll wash them, I'll debobble them or steam them, take photos, upload, and then I package them all away. I don't close the packet just in case I need access to it again, but I'll put little post-it notes of what it is so that as soon as things have sold, I can print some labels and take it to the shop, which is what I'm gonna do today. So I'm gonna sit now and package up all of those things. Let me just pop you down somewhere. Definitely knitwear and sandal weather today because I'm wearing this like vest from Whistles which I really like but it actually feels quite warm so I've just put on my Birkenstocks so I'm not wearing like socks and trainers. And I am actually gonna head out now because I've done quite a few homey bits and I need to walk to the post office to post a return. I have decided to return that Dams and Madder vest. I've decided that I really like it and I like the shape but I think it's the blue that's like not quite right. So I'm gonna wait until they bring out other colors or prints in the future and then get one of those. So I'm gonna return that and then I'm gonna send all my vintage items. I need to like drive to a shop that has every. And then I'm gonna head out and get some lunch and do a few like errands and buy some things that I need to get. I also need to get Gray like an after school snack and plan out what I'm making her and my nephew for dinner because i'm on school pickup today they come out so hungry i have nothing i feel like all they eat at school is like pasta and olives so i should make them something with veg okay first up post office for the return oh my goodness guys the first conquer this is mega exciting proper autumn feels oh i might keep it and give it to gray okay next up all the vintage stuff oh no they said their machine their every machine's not working and no one's picked up the parcels for like two days so i'm not leaving it there now i need to work out how to find somewhere else because that's always the place i go also it's boiling hot it's like 22 degrees i've had to take my vest off it is so hot today really did not uh, get the memo let's try this again I just haven't nailed getting stuff done within the school day. I get so panicked that I've got to get back. I don't want to be late. It's only one o'clock, but it's going to be quarter to three, like soon, and I feel panicked. So I haven't really done what I needed to do. I've dropped off all the parcels. I picked up some lunch quickly from Leon, and then I went to M&S, and I bought some bits that I needed. But I also really wanted to go to the Apple shop. Um, I'm thinking of getting an Apple watch, but actually when I was in there and I quickly tried a couple on, I thought I actually have to do some more research on this because I don't know which sizes I want and I need to make sure it's actually gonna work for me. I've resisted the Apple watch thing for so long, but now my life is a bit all over the place. I feel like it will really help me feel more together and one of the things that's like really panics me is that if I'm in a meeting, it's really hard for me to check my phone. It's like, feels really rude to check my phone. I went for a meeting last week and I kept like pretending to go to the toilet to check my phone because I was worried about the school calling me or like checking the time and making sure I wasn't running late. And like, if a message comes in from someone, like making sure like my kids are looked after by the right people and picked up at the right place and stuff. And I feel like if I have an Apple watch, I could just literally quickly look at my wrist and see what's going on so that's one of the main things but yeah I've resisted it for so long because I love my watch but I can still wear my watch like on weekends and nights out and stuff but I feel like it would be quite handy so I'm gonna look into it more but I was just in the apple shop and I realized I need to like do more research okay I've got about an hour so first thing I'm gonna do is prep the kids after school snack then I'm gonna prep dinner I've got pottery tonight which means I need to leave early so I need to eat with the kids so prep dinner then I'm gonna finish off emails Trello work notifications for the day and hopefully import the footage from this vlog just got back to some amazon parcels this one is addressed to gray pretty sure she doesn't have access to my amazon account that would be disastrous oh, it's a book 
Oh, Hannah, my friend Hannah said that she had sent Gray a book. That's very sweet. Jeffrey gets the jitters. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. Friends who send your kids books. Started last night, a funny wiggly feeling in his tummy that grew and grew, but when Jeffrey's tummy jitters started talking to him, he knew they were out of control. Jeffrey had to do something. Oh, that's very sweet. It's because sometimes Gray says, when she's feeling a bit anxious, sometimes she'll say, I've got a bad feeling. That is really cute. Looking forward to reading that to her tonight. Thanks, Hannah. Also, have you guys been seeing the content that's been going up on the Born Busy Instagram? <laughs> Very exciting seeing it all go live. Okay, let's do a quick M&S haul. I forgot to take a tote bag, but they now do paper bags. Got some bread to make some ham sandwiches for their after school snack and also some chocolate covered pretzels. Got some sweet potato, it's all for dinner. Some coconut jasmine rice, thought that looked good. Sprouts, because it's getting to that time of year. Also, I always pick up this pasta when I see it because it's my favorite pasta that I, I, I can only ever find it in M&S. Some pomegranate seeds, some cabbage greens, ham for the ham sandwiches, and then a load of chicken thighs. So, Let's start with the ham sandwiches. Been loving the little Joseph and Joseph um, chopping boards. They are quite small though. I think I need to get some bigger ones. Leave me a comment down below telling me what after school snacks you take for your kids and what kind of like weekday meals you do as well. I would love some inspiration. Mm. I'm not a fan of butter. So I'm just gonna put on some mayonnaise, a bit of mayo. I remember as a kid, if my mum turned up to school without a snack, oh my goodness, I would have just been absolutely devastated. I don't wanna make this too big though, because I still need her to eat dinner. So also let me know if any of you guys have an Apple Watch and if you like them, if you recommend them, um, does it actually help with life management? and feeling a bit more on top of things and feeling a little bit more in control. Does it help with that? Or does it just feel a bit too full on? I don't want to constantly feel like I'm, I mean, I am always on my phone anyway, so <laughs> there's no point pretending I'm not. Okay, just gonna put those sandwiches in a little bit of foil. Okay, and then for dinner, I was thinking of doing like a chicken tray bake but I just want to add some kind of nice like marinade onto the chicken because I feel like that's where I always go wrong with the chicken tray bake and it ends up being like a little bit too plain. So like red onion, sweet potatoes, sprout. But then instead of just putting chicken with olive oil and salt and pepper, which is what I would normally do, I want to put on some nice seasoning, maybe like a honey soy marinade type thing. Not gonna lie, I can't cook in silence i need to watch a youtube video or something so i'm gonna do that and then come back and show you guys okay i'm back i think i'm doing good for time so i've got sweet potato red onion brussels sprouts i scrapped the cabbage because i realized brussels sprouts are basically mini cabbages and then i've got the chicken and i've actually just got like overspill i thought i'll just cook it all and we can have it for leftovers and stuff so i'm gonna do olive oil salt and pepper but then i'm gonna brush the chicken with this little concoction which is garlic ginger soy sauce honey rice wine vinegar and a bit of ketchup as well delicious i have not had enough computer time today all right i'm quickly making myself a cup of tea because i really need one then i need to clean up the mess that i've made whilst cooking dinner and then i might have to just do my emails on the way to school <laughs> Guys, this is what I did with my time off. Did some serious organization. I'm absolutely loving these. I got them from Dunelm. This one's for rice. This one's for like sauces and stuff. This one's for fruit and nut, although there's cocoa powder in there. This shelf was chaos, so feels very nice and organized. Okay, five minutes till I have to leave for pickup. Gonna finish my tea, quickly check my emails. And then I can't really vlog once 
she's back from school because TV will be on, like I'll be making dinner. And also I feel weird about vlogging in front of my kids. I haven't yet figured that one out. I haven't fully explained to, to Grey especially like what I do for work and I don't know how I feel about it. I don't, like if I were to see her pick up and pretend to vlog, pick up a camera and pretend to vlog, I'm not sure if I'd think it was cute. Do you know what I mean? I've seen people be like, oh my God, so cute, my kid's vlogging. And I'm like, I don't know if that's what I would want. <laughs> it's hard to explain, but I, I'm, I struggle with trying to explain to Grey what my job is. And it's not because I'm not proud of what I've achieved and what I've done, but ah, too difficult to talk about. But I don't really like vlogging in front of the kids. Don't know if I'll be able to vlog for the rest of the day. But yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna eat with them and then I'm gonna head to my pottery class this evening. So I'll carry on with this vlog tomorrow morning and I'll check in with you guys then. Hmm, kind of wanna show you how dinner turns out though. Guys, dinner turned out so well. Look how yummy it smells, so good. And this is Grey's little portion with the little pomegranate sprinkled on top. <laughs> Wouldn't usually wash my hair in the morning it's normally like an evening thing but i had pottery last night so i didn't get any time and if i want to shoot any content today my hair desperately needed a wash oh pottery was a bit weird last night i don't know if i'm loving this course guys i feel a bit deflated from it how weird the first one was like i really really loved it i think i need to just do throwing because when you just do eight weeks of throwing it gives you time to like practice and get better because we did like hand building the first two weeks and then a bit of throwing and I feel a little bit rushed and like I'm not having enough time to actually practice and improve. Um, I feel like I'm not making as much stuff and because this is my second course, I expected to be like making more and doing better and I feel a bit like I've gone backwards. Um, also maybe I'm just not fully like concentrating and stuff. See, so yeah, I got back really late and then didn't have time to uh, wash my hair, but that dinner, oh my God, that dinner was so good. I'm so happy with how it came out. It was delicious and great, absolutely loved it. Which I felt so good about because I felt like she was getting loads of like goodness into her. Um, so yeah, that was really, really yummy. Definitely recommend that. I'm just like quickly doing my makeup and then I'm gonna do my hair, which is gonna take forever. And then I'm gonna crack on today. I did say I was gonna have a bit of an industry chat in this vlog. I keep changing my mind whether I want to or not. It's definitely easier. <laughs> to just like not talk about things and not be vulnerable about things on the internet but it's pretty boring isn't it i know i said i was gonna have a bit of an industry chat in this vlog i think i've changed my mind i keep going i keep kind of in my head having this like really interesting discussion about the different platforms and how they are monetized or not how like creators earn money and how that's really changed over the past few years. But every time I kind of have this conversation in my head, I just worry about the negativity that might come with that because of people who might not understand the job or resent content creators or I don't know. I just I'm not sure if I'm in the headspace to deal with the 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 feedback right now is a really, sometimes I just crave these industry chats and I have them sometimes with like fellow content creators, but sometimes I do wish that the audience understood the back end more of how it all works and how we kind of feel about it. But it's a, it's a, it's a tricky thing to talk about. So I might leave it for another time when I feel like I can really vocalize what I mean. Maybe it's one for my like audio only videos. Or like it could come up in one of those. Just doing like the quickest makeup. I asked yesterday on Instagram stories about um, the Apple Watch and got so many really positive messages from you guys just saying that you really, really love your Apple Watch and you like especially since becoming parents it's like being quite a game changer so i'm really happy to hear that i thought that might be the case i'm definitely going to think like why did i wait so long i just really wasn't into the apple watch thing before but i think it's really going to help um so i'm looking into kind of which one i should get and yeah i'm, I'm excited for that i'm excited to see how how it's going to help in different like scenarios also every time i lose my phone you can like press something on your watch and it finds your phone for you like things like that majorly helpful <laughs> I just washed my hair using the Purology um, shampoo and conditioner. I got the sulfate free one and I'm gonna now put on some of this JVN instant recovery serum. This is really good for my hair. And then I'm gonna blow dry it, straighten it, and I'll come back to you guys because I just got a massive H&M delivery downstairs. I think it's all kids stuff, I can't really remember, but I'll open that with you guys. Oh, feeling like a new woman. Feels so good to have clean hair. Right, I've got a massive, 
the chair parcel here. Pretty sure it was a panic buy because it's um, going into like colder weather and I need some stuff for my kids. Did buy a lot of stuff from Vinted as well, um, especially like nursery clothes for Rudy. Oh my God, is this all kids stuff? Because that's not that interesting for you guys, is it? Why does that look small? Oh my God, I feel like my not even yet two year old son is so big. Is that even gonna fit him? Uh, I think H&M is the best for like basic kids stuff. Obviously Zara does like really cute kids clothes, but they're too nice to wear for like nursery and stuff. Plain white t-shirts for grey. Yeah, I've got two of those. Perfect. Cute wellies. Wellie season. Which child are these for? They look like they're for grey. I think those are for grey, so I'll get her to try those on. Loads of just like long sleeve tops. Look how sweet that is for Rudy. That's definitely a weekend top. Oh, I did get something for myself. Oh my God, vests, it's vest season. Oh my God, look at this. Sorry, wait, I'll show you what I got for myself in a minute. Oh, can you hear my voice? I feel like I'm getting ill. I've got a sore throat. I'm just gonna ignore it. I haven't got time to get ill. Cute little corduroy shirt. That's so sweet. Okay, for myself, I got some of the 90s baggy jeans. High-waisted, I went for a size 12. Oh wait, maybe I should do a TikTok about these. I feel like I should. I'm gonna go and open those upstairs. Two to three, these must be for Rudy. Jeans? They look like cool, they're like jogger jeans. Great, okay, this is perfect. They needed new clothes. Both kids just had like nothing in their wardrobe. Right, I'm gonna go try on these jeans. Right guys, I've got so much to crack on with today because tomorrow George is here for a shoot day, so this is my day to like wrap things up. I'm gonna edit this vlog. Those jeans, by the way, sorry, I did just try them on to film a TikTok. Um, I think I quite like them. They definitely fitted, the 12 fitted great, and they're quite like a soft denim. I like the bagginess. I'm just not 100% sure on the length. I find it really hard to know what length jeans should be on me. But yeah, go have a look if you haven't seen that yet. Um, I'm gonna get on, and thanks so much for watching this video. I'll speak to you guys next week. Bye.